wherever you are this flag on the altar represents Nigeria we owe this nation prayer whether you like it or not this is still our nation if this nation is falling apart her citizens will be suffering if there are bad governance the citizens will suffer a land of a child that was killed by a flood because the drainage system was blocked we have lost countless number of lives to not because God wanted to call them home but because of carelessness we owe this nation a prayer and if you are here don't call Nigeria zoo because what it means is that you are living in Nigeria so you are an animal I know a lot of things that have gone wrong in this nation but it is not beyond redemption God can still redeem it I'm asking the Lord if it is not in your agenda for this nation to tear apart at least give us restructuring so that each and every region will stay apart because there are people that are bent at dragging this nation backward give us leaders not rulers give us people that have the interest of our citizens at heart bless our nation and let your judgment come upon anyone whose plans are evil in this nation place your right hand to us the altar this flag here represent nigeria begin to pray for the nation nigeria oh i can't hear your voice you should take this seriously you should take this seriously begin to pray for nigeria first of all pray for peace pray for prosperity and then pray that god should judge corrupt leaders to raise for us great leaders so i pray in that prayer also pray for your president president muhammad buhari we owe him that prayer pray for the governor of this state governor ifani uguani and then also the governor of your state wherever you came from pray for your representatives shabada kata lembros katali akradesh ke delogodo sandele ketosha lord we pray for peace especially in the northern nigeria and then every part of nigeria a lot of lives have been killed in southern kaduna nobody is talking lord let the blood of the innocent reach the throne of grace father remember remember the covenant you have with this nation lord i pray this nation is in your hand anyone that perpetuates evil in this nation let your rod of judgment judge them arise o lord and 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 judge them shade e pretuna zenkete manakazia shubalata e klopada ketuna japale e zubrakatashka Lembrosh kapala dana koze, then they another, then they another. E rende koropatana kosia, shuraba e kletuna hadia. Now we bring before your throne the nation Nigeria. We ask for revival. We ask for revival. We ask for economic revival, political revival. Now we ask for revival in every sector of the society, even religious revival. Lord, let there be 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 revival. A shuraba, a clotina. Chuku idi ituna ya hikari mje chiche madwezi. Odi gichi di kani, idi ebu be Jesus. Chuku idi mimi onyuku, idi 
We lift it up and we speak. This is a nation under God. This is a nation under God. Lord, violence will not overrun our streets, evil will not overrun our streets, insurgency will not overrun our streets. In the name of Jesus liberate us from evil men deliver us from blood suckers as i lift up the nation nigeria we take up a prophetic action and we speak let evil prevail no more anyone who sponsors death and terror in nigeria i speak let the earth reject that person we bring judgment to them we bring judgment to them we bring judgment to them lord you brought the horns of the assyrian you brought the horns of the jebusites the perizzites the Hittites, and the amorites lord break the horns of evil men and evil women in this nation in the name of jesus in the name of jesus i prophesy by power the gates of nigeria open to prosperity the gates of Nigeria open to growth. The, gro the gates of Nigeria open to great developmental strides. That a man is not a loud one. Nigeria is a nation under God. A nation under God. Several years ago, United States of America went through crisis. The letter came out strong. Not that corruption has left their streets, but it is reduced to the point that it is almost insignificant that people in leadership are corrupt i speak from this altar i speak from this altar nigeria is 60. six is the number of man six is the number of creation i stand from this altar to speak that god will do a new thing in this nation because this nation it's at the core of the burdens we have. Legama Natash Kola Pradekosia. From the North Pole to the South Pole. To the Western Pole to the East Pole. We speak. Let there be change. Let there be change. 
change anyone that is not willing to change this nation if they cannot change because their tenure is still so long lord change them by rejecting them that a man is not a loud one people that take this nation backward will never rule us again open the frontiers leadership strides the developmental achievements give us prosperity give us prosperity lord and i bless the private sector because until the private sector drives an economy the economy will be in shambles great nations have never depended on the government they have always become dependent on what they are able to do even though the government play roles that help them but the government the private sector is always what lifts up every nation just like america just like you have the wall street and all of that just like tokyo the third largest economy on earth just like china lord i speak today begin to bless people individually begin to bless people individually a lot of people have mocked us they say we pray a lot and then there is nothing to show for it lord show up show up in the name of jesus take all the glory the father the son and the holy spirit